Hello everyone and welcome to the video. Today I'm going to show you how to sell your courses online using Teachable. It's only going to take less than 15 minutes and it's going to cost you nothing to do so. So if you're ready, let's get started. So first off, head off to teachable.com. Once you're there, click on the Get Started link in the top right corner. Now you can enter your name, password, agree to the terms of use, click Create Account. First, it's going to ask you to verify your email address. Once you've done so, you'll be taken to this to the screen. So the first step is to edit your site's theme as well as your school's homepage. So to do so, from the left-hand toolbar, we're going to click on Site, and we're going to upload our logo right here. We're going to upload our school's thumbnail, and now we're ready to edit the site page itself. So we're going to click on Pages. Under Homepage, we're going to click Edit. And you can see here, this is the default storefront for your school. So it includes several elements that are listed here on the left-hand toolbar. So we're going to edit the banner by clicking on it. We're going to replace the image. Now you can see the text overlap, so we'll have to fix that. So we're going to head into the Design tab. Increase the padding to 650. And now we just need to change the text color to black. All right, that looks good. So we're going to click Publish and go back. As you can see, there are many elements to our school's page, and you can arrange them however you like by simply dragging and dropping. So if we wanted the image to appear ahead of the text, we just drag it up here, and you can see the image is now ahead of the text. So you can edit any one of these elements by just simply clicking on it and editing its properties. We're going to go back now. And now that our site's uh, homepage is set up, we're going to actually design a course. So we're going to go back to our dashboard, click on Courses, and click New Course. We're going to call our course Teachable 101. Select the author and click Continue. All right, our course has been created. And as you can see here, they've created some dummy content for our first course. So we're going to edit the section to name it Introduction. And we're going to edit our first lecture name. Now to edit the lecture, we just click on the lecture name itself. And here we can add a lot of different content to our, to our lecture. We can add a file, so if there's a video you'd like to uh, your students to see, you can add it here. You can add a text. You can add quizzes, code examples, custom code, as well as upsells. But for now, we're just going to add some text. Click Add Text. And now we're going to add a video to our lecture. All right, so now that our video is uploaded, we can turn comments on or off if we'd like to increase student engagement. So we're going to select that. We're going to click Publish. And we're going to head back and create a new section, a new new lecture. So we'll start by clicking New Section. We'll call it First Steps. And we're going to add a new lecture to it. We'll call it Getting Started. And we'll click on the lecture to edit it. So now we're just going to add some text quickly. Click Add Text. And click Publish. Now we'll head back. So now that we've finished setting up our course, we can choose a pricing plan for it. So on the left-hand toolbar, we're going to click Pricing. Click Add Pricing Plan. And as you can see, there's four different options to choose from. Free allows access to your content free of charge. You can select one-time purchase. You can even select a payment plan if you want to uh, break up the cost of your, uh, of your course into a more manageable form. Or you can select subscription if you'd like to uh, choose a subscription-based site. So we're going to add one-time purchase. We'll select the amount of $100. We'll call it one-time purchase. 
and we'll click Add Pricing Plan. Now we're going to add another pricing plan so users can choose a payment plan if they're not able to afford your course in one shot. So we're going to select the amount to be $25. We'll select five monthly payments. We'll call this the monthly, monthly payment plan. Click add payment plan. And there we go. Now it's time to set up our course page where users will be able to buy it. So we're going to click on pages in the left hand toolbar. Under sales, we're going to click edit. And as you can see here, this is the default sales page. So again, you can edit any one of these uh, elements in the left hand toolbar by clicking on them. We're going to place the image. So now we're just going to change the text color to black. And we can edit the banner text here if we'd like so. Now we're going to select the button action to go to checkout page. We'll choose the one-time payment. And we'll change the button text to read purchase course now. All right. And you can continue to edit all these elements on the left simply by clicking them and changing the, uh, the related properties. So now that we're done with our sales page, we're going to click update. We'll click back. And now we're ready to publish our course. So we're going to click on the information tab. We're going to give our course a thumbnail. Now that we've uploaded our thumbnail, we'll click save and click publish course. All right, now your course is available to your students to purchase. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Good luck with your courses. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments below. Be sure to hit subscribe, and I'll see you at the next video. All right, bye-bye.